just some, um, I, I needed more and I needed to move on and I couldn't. I figured that if I confessed to another person my sin, as a Christian, I would be over. I, I wasn't, I wouldn't leave the house because I had to make sure that everybody was okay. I came here five years ago with a, a broken heart. We had so many, so many deaths in the family that one year. There was an emptiness in my heart and I needed to I needed to find something, not a, not a bottle, not a drug. I thought I could beat this by myself, but I couldn't. When I had the secrets, it left me in the sin longer because I tried to fight everything by myself. I was already sober for 10 years, but in 2009, I was asked to become an encouraging coach at Celebrate Recovery. And I felt I didn't need any of that. I'm a new man, a new, a new uh, creation in Christ. I don't need to be bothering with any kind of AA, NA, or any kind of programs. But I prayed on it, and the Lord asked me to do it. So a friend of mine introduced me to Calvary Lighthouse Church and Celebrate Recovery meetings. And it just uh, opened up my heart, my my mind, and I saw a whole different meaning of, of God and Jesus and everything he created for us. I've learned to love myself, which I never did before. Keeping a secret is what really hurts us the worst. When you break those secrets, and when you even when you do fail, is, is talking about those secrets of someone else and starts you on that, that road to freedom. I needed someone I can trust and feel comfortable with talking about and not worry about it getting out. That's what I found, a group of men that the sin issue could be not secret anymore. When I trust and confess to God, myself, and someone I trust, then the sin's power is broken and freedom has started. Years ago when I was asked to join the team as a fellowship leader, I was very excited knowing that I was going to be part of something special. And when I did, and I was hearing different struggles and bondages, I realized that I had one, and it's called codependency. I am just so thankful that I had a place to come to, that I was taught what my problem is, and now through Jesus Christ, I am free and have victory. And I've seen a lot of things happen, beautiful things, men and women being set free from drugs, alcohol, codependency, from hurts, habits, hangups. One of the biggest things I've seen people being set free from is living in guilt and shame. And I thank God every day for that privilege that he allows me and the team to see his hand at work.